Hey everyone, welcome to this Laravel 12 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to implement role-based access control, also known as RBAC, step by step. We'll be using two awesome tools to make it easy and clean. First, Laravel Breeze. It's a lightweight starter kit that gives us all the essential authentication features like login, registration, and password reset right out of the box. Second, we'll use the Spacey Laravel permission package. It's a super popular package that makes managing roles and permissions in Laravel apps a breeze. All right, before we dive into building our RBAC system in Laravel 12, let's quickly go over the prerequisites. To follow along with this tutorial, make sure you have a Laravel 12 compatible development environment already set up that includes PHP 8.1 or higher, Laravel 12 requires it. So make sure your system is up to date. Composer, Laravel depends on Composer to manage PHP packages. Node.js and NPM. Breeze uses Vite to build assets. So you'll need Node and NPM installed as well. And finally, a basic understanding of Laravel and the MVC pattern will help you follow along more easily. If you have all of that ready, you're good to go. Let's jump into the setup. Let's kick things off by creating a fresh Laravel 12 project. Open up your terminal and run the following command. Composer create project Laravel 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 space your auth. All right, now open your terminal. Then paste this command and hit enter. That will download and install a fresh Laravel 12 project into a folder called Laravel Spacey Auth. Once your Laravel project is created, it's time to open it in Visual Studio Code. Then go to the top menu and click on File, then Open Folder. Now navigate to the folder where your Laravel project was created. In our case, it's Laravel Spacey Auth and click Open. This is the default Laravel setup, clean and ready for us to start building. We're now set up with a fresh Laravel 12 project and next, we'll start adding authentication and role-based access control step by step. Let's move on to step two, installing Laravel Breeze. Breeze is a lightweight authentication starter kit for Laravel. It gives us basic login, registration, and password reset functionality with a clean and simple setup. To install Breeze, go back to your terminal and make sure you're inside your Laravel project directory. Then run this command. First, make sure your terminal is open and that you're inside your Laravel project directory. In our case, that's Laravel Spacey Auth. Then run this command, Composer require Laravel Breeze dev. This tells Composer to download Breeze as a development dependency. Now that the Breeze package is installed, let's scaffold the authentication system. Then run this command, prdesign Breeze install. Command in Laravel 12, you'll be prompted to choose a stack for your front end. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to select the option you want. For this tutorial, we'll choose the default blade with alpine press enter to confirm after selecting your breeze stack laravel will ask you can choose yes if you want your authentication views to include both light and dark themes but for now we'll stick with the default which is no just press enter to continue next breeze will ask you which testing framework you prefer you can choose between pest which offers a clean and expressive syntax or php unit the default laravel testing framework for this tutorial, we'll go with the default option, which is PEST. Just press enter to confirm and continue the installation. This will scaffold all the necessary auth views and routes for your application. Now that Breeze has been installed and configured, it's time to set up the front end. The command you can copy in your terminal, run npm install. This command will download all the Node.js dependencies needed for your front end like Tailwind, CSS and Alpine.js. Once that's done, compile the assets by running npm run dev. This will process all your CSS and JavaScript and output it into the public directory so your app looks and functions properly. Next, let's connect our Laravel app to a MySQL database. Open your .env file in the project root and look for the database settings section updated like this. Make sure to replace Laravel DB with the name of your actual database and update the username and password if your MySQL setup uses different credentials. Now that our database connection is configured, let's run the Laravel migrations to create the tables for authentication. In the terminal, run p-artisan migrate. 
If the database you specified in your .env file doesn't exist yet, Laravel will show this prompt. Just hit enter to confirm yes and Laravel will automatically create the database and run the migrations. Once that's done, your users table and all Breeze authentication tables will be ready to go. After running the migrations, you might want to check that the tables were actually created. To do this, open your database management tool. Now let's start the Laravel development server so we can test everything in the browser. In your terminal, run this command for artisan serve. Laravel will spin up a local development server, usually at HTTPs 127.0.1.8000. Open that URL in your browser and you should see the Laravel welcome page or your Breeze login screen if everything was installed correctly. Now it's time to set up role and permission management using Spacey's Laravel permission package. This package makes it super easy to assign roles and permissions to users. To install it, run this command in your terminal composer require Spacey Laravel permission. Composer will download and install the package into your Laravel 12 project. After installing the Spacey permission package, we need to publish its configuration and migration files. To do that, run this command in your terminal. This command will publish a new config file located at config permission pp. It will also publish the migration files needed to create the roles, permissions, and the related pivot tables in your database. We'll use these to store all the role and permission data for our users. Now that we've published the migration files, it's time to create the actual database tables for roles and permissions. In your terminal, simply run the artisan migrate. This will apply all the outstanding migrations, including the ones from Spacey. It will create the roles, permissions, model has roles, model has permissions, and role has permissions tables in your database. These are essential for managing user access and role-based permissions in your application. To enable role and permission functionality on users, we need to update the user model. Go to app models user PHP and add this line at the top with the other imports use species permission traits has roles. Then inside the user class, include the trait like this use has roles. This gives the user model access to helpful methods like assign role, has permission to, and get role names. To manage our roles and permissions in a structured way, let's create a database seeder. Open your terminal and run. Peep artisan make seeder role permission seeder. This will generate a new file inside the database seeders directory. Now open role permission seeder.php. Here we'll define the roles and permissions that our app will use. In the next step, we'll edit this file to create roles like admin, editor, and set up permissions accordingly. Once you've defined your roles and permissions in the role permission seeder file, it's time to insert them into the database. In your terminal, run the following command prdesign db seed the class uh, role permission seeder. Laravel will execute that specific seeder and populate your roles and permissions tables. If everything is set up correctly, you'll see a message confirming the seeding was successful. Now your database has all the roles and permissions your application needs. Now that our roles are in the database, let's assign them to users. We can do this in a controller, a seeder, or interactively using Laravel Tinker. Now that everything is set up, including roles and permissions, you can go ahead and create a new user account. Once the account is created, you can assign a role to that user either from Tinker, a controller, or through an admin panel later. Now that our roles are in the database, it's assigned them to users. We can do this in a controller, a seeder, or interactively using Laravel Tinker. To use Tinker, run this command in your terminal peep artisan Tinker. Once inside Tinker, find the user you want to assign a role to. For example, user find one assign role, admin. This assigns the admin role to the user with ID 1. user and find one assign role admin.
When you're done, type exit to leave Tinker. In this step, we'll use Blade directives provided by Spacey to conditionally show content based on roles or permissions. Open the file resources, views dashboard, blade.php. Now inside the blade file, you can check if the user has a role using at role like this. These directives let you control what each role or permission level can see on the front end. And that's how simple it is to use role and permission checks in your blade templates. All right, now that everything is set up, you can go ahead and register a new user account by visiting the register page in your browser. Once you're registered, use Tinker or a Cedar to assign a role to that new user. For example, admin, editor, or user. After logging in, your dashboard will dynamically show the assigned role. This is a great way to verify that role-based views and access controls are working as expected. 